Today is Friday the 12th of January 2018. I'm at Stuttgart at the CMT Trade Fair and uh, there are people here tidying up. Some people are having uh, drinks at the stands and I'm having a really good time because I'm looking at motorhomes such as this 883F van from Rapido. It's only seven meters in length but it looks a lot more than that it's 235 centimeters in width but the great size the, the, is, is really an optical illusion uh, by the height of it which is 289 centimeters now the van itself let's have a look kickoff price is 68,400 euros this price is 70 in this version 73,700 and let's have a look inside. Well, the uh, first thing I would want to note actually is look at how high the step is and that is the height of the double floor in the van. So let's uh, step up and we'll go to the uh, back I think, show you the bed. And right, the bed itself is a non-conventional shape which means to say that uh, if you need to replace the, uh, the mattress it may be a little bit difficult. We can pick the mattress up and we can see we've got a slat there and uh, which are some distance from the board. Now there is a problem with vans and I've done this on other uh, films which is mould which can occur. You need a circulation of air and in this case We've got it, but not all vans have, the, have it, and I've seen even expensive vans uh, that they don't have facilities against this. Well, maybe not so much now nowadays, but certainly vans produced even as late as, what, 10 years ago. <clears throat> or less, in fact. Right, above the bed you've got a shelf, so that's great for putting books and things of that nature, or your glasses once you've finished reading. We've got these lockers over the bed. Now the, the lockers themselves are quite close to the bed. There's not much of a gap there, but you're lying down. How much of space do you need? <clears throat> and you can sit up in bed and look out the window. Um, what I do in Sicily, I'll often do that. I'll, I'll have the window in that direction. I've got, um, there's a castle where I usually hang out there. I've got Mount Etna, which I'm, okay, you can't really see it at night unless it erupts, in which case you can't see it. But, um, the, you know, it's great. You find a superb location and you can look out the window. Something I really appreciate. Now, on either side of the bed, we have storage. On one side, we've got hanging space. And on the other, we've got some shelves. Sorry, it's a bit dark. I maybe can't see very well. Sensible toilet. And I say sensible because it's got one of my favourite things, a sliding door. Hey, look in the mirror, you can see a bit up there. So, pretty good, eh? And there's a skylight there, so you can let the air in, should you want to. Mirror. Mirror, mirror on the door. And inside we've got the shower and it's like a domestic type shower it's a big shower uh, the one thing I'd say against it there's only one uh, hole down there it is in the center which is probably the best place for a hole unfortunately it's one of these smaller ones which in nowadays tend not to be used in vans so much because the vans are going for the domestic ones however you can get a little uh, like net like thing which you put down there and it stops all the bits blocking up your pipes Oh, and should you need access to your pipes, you got it down there. Now, look into the lounge. Okay, you've got another bed above the uh, the driving seats. But yeah, what I would do is I'd have that taken out and you can have instead lockers put around there. That, as, a, as an option, costs more money. But, you know, it gives you all this extra storage instead. And if you need someone to sleep, you'll just have to get a, stick the cushions down on the floor and sleep down there. And it'll probably be just as comfortable anyway, I think. Right, down there we've got this enormous amount of storage in the double floor. In fact, you could fill it up with water and use it as a swimming pool. Look at that. Pretty deep, eh? Brilliant. Brilliant. 
Now, let's have a look at the kitchen. Right. It's a uh, light kitchen. Uh, might look a bit dark now, but of course I'm indoors and the lighting outside isn't very good. You've got sink, three burners, bit of prep space down there. It's not a huge amount of prep space, but it's a little bit. You've got all of these drawers there with a sort of a lock that stops them flying open when you're driving. Now, oh, let's say a few words about this lounge. Look at the amount of space it gives. It, it looks as though it's enormous really and uh, this is obviously putting the, the, the couches on either side. Central table which is it halved if you like to put there and so it's, it's not taking up much space. You can get in and out of the driving uh, position very easily. So, in my opinion, this really is an enormous sense of space. Now, to walk down here to the driving seat and admire, in fact, I'll sit in the passenger seat and admire the view which we've got. I think that's fantastic, I really do. It's it's so much space, and uh, okay, you've got your television up there with a sliding door for the television should you want to hide it, and you get your fridge under the television. Great van for touring for two people. Um, it's uh, I think it's wonderful, and there's some great innovations this year. The 2018 season we're seeing motorhome manufacturers thinking outside the box this is one example but there's I mean there's others which you can see in other films obviously this started at uh, Dusseldorf uh, in August uh, 2017 so the season sort of commenced um, we can see I mean, there's other innovations there's electricity and uh, I'll, I'll actually start talking about that and I won't stop so I won't do it in this film but instead of that why don't I just show you one or two of the other vans such as this outstanding 803F and that's it's only uh, 594 centimeters long that's brilliant it's only about four or five thousand less euros less than this uh, one I've just shown you the 883F but it's brilliant uh, 855F another one this one here semi integrated van oh, look at the others on the stand as well. Right, so I'll be looking at as many of these as I can. So if you want to see more vans, this is the place to come. <laughs>